this morning we're starting up uh, with a little kind of side off project on the same thing, same buggy setup. But uh, I'm just making a plate right now, as you can see. Three bolts and a couple washers welded together. And our little old spare tire. Boom, there's our spare tire mount. So that will get welded. That's already been welded. But then I'm cutting out this piece of plate to weld to the back of it. And then that plate, that is how that's going. And I will let you come along for the rest of the journey. Since I didn't get to show you the welding of this part together, I'll figure out the others. But that's basically going to go up underneath the tire like that. And then the drop screws on it, crank it down. And it'll be up on the bull in case we need it. Because we're going to get switched over to where all four tires are the old Honda rims. And figure out a way to get rid of those even if it's just a set of uh, bolt plates. So that we can bolt these rims onto that VW setup front. So we have a matching set of four rims. Four. Even though it's just a little done, it would be cool to have. If this is a street buggy, why don't have a street spare? Okay, so there's the plate that we've welded up now. About to weld it to this middle bar. And that's where it will hold in the tire. And once it's all set and leveled, it'll just barely float above the uh, roll cage there. Just a little space all the way on all three sides. So that if we decide we're going to put some kind of a canvas roof cover or something up on here, there's a little space for it to be tucked underneath the tire and have it wrap right around this plate that we're putting in. But that's what we're going to weld on next, right in that spot. So this thing sits right there on top of the rig. There it is, welded in place. I might do another piece of steel flat going up this side at a perpendicular to this one so that it gives this a little, you see it's kind of floppy because it's just that one rail. I might make that a T with a plate coming up this way so that this is more rigid than it is. We'll just have to see how it goes. I'm thinking this might be the tail lights. Those might be the brackets for the brake and turn signals. I had a big steel sheet that uh, once was the whole back flat when the tail lights were mounted. I cut them out and sliced the sheets down and ground them into these forms. And those are the little lights that go in them, but I think that's going to be our final form. We'll see, I'm gonna pop the lights back in them and see how they look. So we're definitely in luck here. See, we've got our main harness runs up. We have connected our tranny connections. And you can see we've got our three main connectors to the cables. We're all connected with our fuse box. The two fuse boxes are now mounted to the firewall and we've made our first shortening splice of a line. So all of this here and chunks of this over here we're going to now start slowly going through cutting all this mess up and doing this. Shrinking it down to where it's only as long as it needs to be to go from where it's at or over there to here at the fuse box where it connects and try and get rid of as much of this garbage pile as we can and just have things run from here to there to here to there to here to there. And again, all throughout this whole process, crossing our fingers greatly and hoping we're not completely screwing the pooch, which I'm sure we are. <laughs> Well, 
Anyway, on with the fun. So we're back again here, and at this point we are working on, we just reinstalled the brake pedal. We tore the clutch pedal out of the system and chopped off the gas pedal part of the original VW system. So the only thing back down there now is that brake pedal attachment, and it's bolted in finger tight to give us our positioning. We've pulled out the electric gas pedal from the Honda and we have it up here with just a clamp, just a spring clip clamp, holding it in place, giving us our general feel for where it's at. Had to uh, bend the pedal bar there a little bit because it, it stuck way out. It had a real big hard bend in this spot here, and so the pedal sat out another like two inches further forward. It doesn't need to for the full actuation, and it just was way out here. Didn't feel good. So now that we got those generally figured out, now we've got the... Uh, electric gas pedal connector here coming through it obviously doesn't reach far enough to go all the way through pop up and then still plug in to the top of our gas pedal here so right now i'm doing a little wiring harness extension i went through my pile of wire here this is all the crap we cut loose so i went through this pile and pulled out wires that matched everything in our pedal harness here you can see we got some nice little color matches going on there so we're about to cut that connector off of the head there and splice this set into place and that is what we're doing right now so good times all around Check it out, just uh, wired that gas pedal line all the way up and through, brought it up here, plugged it in. Now we've quick mounted with some metal tap screws, the gas pedal in place, and there she is, electronic gas pedal. This is all the way down to fully pushed in, spins back and it isn't too far out there. Pretty happy with how that works. Doesn't interfere with the brake pedal. So, uh, the brake pedal spring's not on there tight to push it back the way it should, but we'll get that set up too. But that, uh, there's our gas. Vroom, 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 right? Hit <laughs> them brakes. We're pretty tight on some of these cables here, but uh, see what we can do. Maybe we can get a little slack in some of this stuff here. Pull things around. Not well. It's a jumbled mess of crap anyway down there. I scared the little piss out of somebody trying to steal it. <laughs> Look at that, just be like, oh my god. But you know, hopefully, we'd have all that hidden and you know, figure out some kind of plate to put over that whole freaking gobbledygook mess if it met if it works and, uh, pulling this back into its position too here somewhere back here in the midst of the middle Ish. It's gonna be funny, but if that thing works hanging there. That would give me speedo, tachometer, 
whole bunch of things. And it already plugs right into the harness, so maybe slap dashy, but we're gonna try and figure this crap out. Still even have our code reader. Of course, we've got a couple wires, we're not sure where they go, but we'll figure that out too. At <laughs> some point. Oh, goodness, this has been such a mess. Well, time to take a break from this thing and go make some lunch. <laughs>